Hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do your weekly love prediction, Pisces love prediction reading for September 23rd through September 30th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my fun, loving, emotional, kind, empathetic, Pisces. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on, my Pisces? Let's see, spirit guys. What's going on, my Pisces? Show me, spirit guys. The death card. Ace of Swords. The Hierophant. Four of Cups. Oof, and the Empress. Well, first and foremost, something has changed in your relationship because the death card is leading your reading. That death card is all about a transformation. Something's going on. Something is changing. Something is evolving. The death card also represents a Scorpio sun sign. Can be anyone, but the death card does represent Scorpio sun sign. But something's changing. Something is evolving in your relationship. Something has changed. Something is changing. Um, and the Ace of Swords is here. And the Ace of Swords is all about truth. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep reading, but I kind of think I know what's going on here, whomever I'm reading for. There is a truth. There's truth now. Um, because in the middle of your reading is the Hierophant card. The Hierophant is about marriage, commitment. Yeah, it's about marriage and commitment. And you found someone, there's a truth about something. Something has evolved. Something has changed. I know what has changed here. But someone doesn't, is not listening. Or they don't want to listen. Because you have told this person that you are with child. Because the Empress card is the last card in this reading. The Empress card is about um, fertility, children, being pregnant. Someone is pregnant, but then there's someone in the middle of the reading because between this, the marriage card and the pregnancy card, there's the four of cups. This person, even though you're pregnant, does not want to marry. Four of cups, he's not listening. He's, he, he's not, he's like, that's okay. I still can be a daddy without, you understand what I'm saying, without being married. He doesn't want to be married to you. He does not. He does not want to be married to you. He doesn't mind being a baby daddy, but he doesn't want to be a, a, a husband. He only wants to be a baby daddy. That's what I saw. And I see things have changed. Like I said, the truth is here. You know now too with this reading exactly what this man wants. And it's not a marriage. It is to be a father though. He, do, he, does, he wants to be a father, but he doesn't. He doesn't want to be a, a husband. Uh-uh. He doesn't want to be a husband. Because see, here's his cup here. He's got all these three cups down here. But this one cup here, he's got his hands crossed. If you look at this card... This is a card of no, absolutely not. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to be married. I don't. I don't. That one cup that's right here. He's got all these other cups. The baby here. He's got you here. He does have love here, but I don't see him with commitment in marriage. I don't see that. I don't think he even wants to talk about that, um, which I think is interesting. But give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading to see what additional information Spirit Guys want you to know about this, this man, this relationship. Let's see. Sit back, relax. Pisces, sit back and relax. And let's see what the spirit guys want to show you. Why is this death card here? Give me three to five minutes. Why is this death card here for my Pisces? Show me spirit guides. Why is the death card here for Pisces? Let's see. Queen of Cups. That is you, Pisces. You are the Queen of Cups. You are the good girl. You've been the ride or die. You've been there for him no matter what. 
and he has the audacity now that you're pregnant. I'm just sorry. That's just what I feel. Um, let me take that out of there. You have been the queen of cups for him. You have been the good girl. You have been there for him in spite of everything that has gone on. In spite of some of the things, sometimes you question things, sometimes, you know, but he, you, you've been there. Bottom line, you've been a queen of cups. You, get, you have a heart of gold and you've been there. But look, there's a transformation that's going on. There's a transformation that's going on. So let's see. Show me, Spirit Guides. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Show me why the Ace of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Two of Pentacles is over Ace of Swords. Two of Pentacles is a card of... There's a decision that needs to be made. I will say that. Because Two of Pentacles is just juggling your emotions. It's juggling your emotions because now this transformation is Ace of Sources. You have reality now. You have the truth now. There, yeah, you've got a heart of gold. But now you're in a whole, it's not just about you. It's about someone else too. Like I said, you're pregnant. It's not just about you. It's about someone else. And you know there's a decision that must be made. His decision is not to marry. I will tell you that. And your decision is whether you're going to stay with him. Or if you're going to move on. I don't know. That's just what I see. There's decisions that have to be made. So let's see why the Hierophant card is here. Show me Spirit, guys. Why is the Hierophant card here for my Pisces? Show me why the Hierophant card is here. Show me Spirit, guys. Oh, Seven of Pentacles. This is definitely about pregnancy. It's about growth. But not only that, Seven of Pentacles is like all of this time that I put in with this man. I'm pregnant now because remember, you've been the queen of cups. You've been the one he could come to. You've been the ride or die. You've been that girl. You've been there for him. And now you're pregnant. And now you're saying all of this that I put it with him, I would expect that he would ask for my hand in marriage. Now that I am pregnant with his child, I do see that with this seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles is growth. You're saying that all of this, I thought that everything that I gave to him, all of the goodness that I provided for him, all of the, the things that I did, being there for him, feeding him possibly, you know, um, taking care of him in spite of even some of the nastiness he may have done, in spite of even some of the things that you didn't agree with, you thought that definitely now that I'm pregnant, he would ask me to marry him. And I'm telling you with this hyphen card, you want a commitment. You want a commitment. I don't see that happening because here's this Four of Cups. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Four of Cups here? Show me why is the Four of Cups here for my Pisces. Chariot. Chariot means moving forward. It also can represent a Cancer sun sign. As the Hierophant card also represents a Taurus sun sign. Um, but these are just Zodiac signs that are on the board. But the Chariot card is here. Chariot means moving forward. But you still have a decision to make. Do you stay with him or do you move on? Do you still, he wants He wants to be a, a, a baby's daddy, but he doesn't want to be married. He doesn't want to be married. He's just a baby daddy. I'm just saying. No matter what, he's still, he's just a baby daddy. Chariot card means moving forward. But here's the thing. It's over the four of cups, which means that he's not moving forward. You want to move forward with a marriage, with a life, with having, you know, a family. That's what you want. I don't see that happening with him. The chariot, you want to move forward, but this four of cups is showing up. He's moving forward. He's definitely will be a baby's daddy. He's, you know, but, you know, he doesn't want a commitment. A baby's daddy, but no commitment. I just see that. So let's see why the Empress card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Empress card here? Show me spirit, guys. Death card again. Thank you, spirit, guys. When the spirit guides give you two of the same cards in the reading, I am whomever I'm reading for, I'm telling you exactly what they want you to know. The death card is a transformation. It's a transformation. Things have changed. Things have changed. Your heart space is now going to be with your child. Not that it's not going to be with him because you still have a heart of gold and you still do love him. But this death card is a transformation because you're pregnant now. Things have changed. They have changed. Absolutely. Things have changed. And that's what's happening. There's a change. There's a, there's a change going on. There's a change going on. And you know it very well as well. Let's look at the very beginning, the death card. Transformation can represent a Scorpio sun sign. Here you are with this queen of cups. Man, you got a heart of gold. You've been there to ride or die. The girl that he comes to, 
Sometimes the Queen of Cups can get walked on to and get taken advantage of because her heart space is so good. People tend to take her for granted. But there's a transformation that's going on with you. Because here there's a decision that needs to be made. Because the Ace of Swords is here. You have the reality now. And your reality is, is, is interesting because, like I said, you know what's up. You know what's up. You have a child. You're pregnant. The Ace of Swords is reality. There's decisions that need to be made now. Will I marry him? Will he marry me? Or will, you know, or will he not? Will I stay with him if he doesn't marry me? You are in that, you are changing, you are evolving. The Hierophant card is here, which means, uh, can represent a Taurus sun sign. But the Hierophant card is about tradition. It's about marriage, commitment. And it's over the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is all about growth. The Seven of Pentacles is about growth. All of this, all of these things that I've given him, including now giving him a child. Is he going to stay with me? Is he going to commit to me? Is he going to marry me? I say no. Because here's his four of cups. He does. He wants to be a baby's daddy. But he doesn't want a commitment. He doesn't want a commitment. Because the four of cups is like, he's not hearing it. It's over the chariot card. Because the chariot card can represent a cancer sun sign. But the chariot card is saying, let's move forward. That's what you want to do. And he said, let's not. Let's not move forward with the marriage or a commitment that way. That's not what he wants. Now, here's the Empress card. And the Empress card is you are with child. You're pregnant. But like I said, the death card, thank you, spirit guys, came out again. The death card can represent a sad, uh, excuse me, a Scorpio sun sign. But that death card is about um, evolving, changes, transformation. And I think you're changing from being the one that maybe perhaps was taken advantage of to being a mom, to being a mother, to... You know, changing your whole life because I do not see him wanting a commitment. I do not know if you're going to stay with him or not, but I do not see him wanting commitment. Let's see what my oracles have to say. Show me, spirit guys. What do my oracles have to say? What do my oracles have to say? Let's see. What do they have to say? Well, they're saying within the next few months. I think you'll make a decision. I'm being very honest. You're very early in your pregnancy, possibly. And I think you'll make you'll make a decision. It says listen to your intuition. Pisces, that's a good card for you because you listen to your in intuition. Listen to your intuition. Remain positive. Remain positive. Listen to your in intuition. This is one of my favorite cards. I'm going to pull this because you definitely need it. Now, meditation brings answers. Prayer works absolute absolutely you know here this is interesting that's coming out after this meditation card is that the situation will improve the situation will improve i'm going to also pull this card it's up to you and it definitely is up to you you are the one with child you make your decision you decide you decide wow big happy changes so he could come around he could come around this is big happy changes if he doesn't you're going to be okay but he could he could absolutely come around. Absolutely, he could come around. They say a peaceful resolution as well. A peaceful resolution. A peaceful resolution. I, you know, I just think that he's going to come around. Oh, 